Well, this is Marty out here in Ozark Outdoors. Today I got two of my Grendel rifles out here. One's a CZ-527 with a 24-inch barrel. The other's a Anderson Arms lower with a Bear Creek Arsenal upper with a 24-inch barrel. Um, I'm just going to be doing some fire forming 762 by 39 cases. I've loaded them with some 107-grain match kings and some 85-grain VMAX bullets. And it's a really low charge 10 percent under the low spot on the book so uh because the 762 by 39 case isn't quite as square and doesn't ha hold quite as much powder as the 65 grindle that's uh the shoulder seems to be the same they chamber all right but um i just ran them through a lee full length size and die and trimmed them and checked the neck thickness was all within spec you know. So, I think I'm going to just go ahead and shoot them and get them to fire form to the 6.5 Grendel dimensions. I'm going to shoot them over a chronograph just for the sake of doing it and shoot them at some paper too. See if one rifle likes them any better than the other. Um, these are 762 by 39 brass with the large primers instead of the small primers like the 65 Grendel brass has. So, I don't know how much that's going to affect things but uh, I've got a whole bunch of that 762 by 39 brass if it works out all right I'll I'll be using some of it so let's get to it it's really cold out here today at least the sun's out it's only about 21 degrees right now well I've got the chronograph set up here let's we'll see if we can't get some velocity off of it It's only a 19 and a half grains of, of uh, 4198 powder is what I loaded with this. That's a pretty low dosage. Sure don't like those shells right there. Groups wise, it was shooting them right pretty close to the bullseye there, but I'm having to uh, having to charge just about every one of them. But don't see anything wrong with them. They look like six five Grendel cases now. Velocity on them was around twenty two hundred. That last one was 2173, 2258, average at 2219. So not real good, but didn't expect it to be real good. I'm going to get the uh, CZ out and shoot some through it. Because it's a bolt action gun and it won't be jamming on every one of them. Okay, I got the CZ out here now, so I'm going to give it a try. Twenty 
219. Walk down and just look at it, maybe mark them and go back and shoot some more. Well, I shot these with the AR. And I shot five here with the CZ. There's uh, three in the same hole there. Actually shot it pretty darn good. Huh. It's amazing. I'll shoot some more of them and see what else it'll do. Got some more of the 107 grain match kings out of the CZ. This is a hundred yard fire foreman brass. It's about a two inch group. I guess it'd be usable if you wanted to shoot coyotes or something, calling them up close and shooting them. Shot some of the 85 green V Maxes out of the uh, AR. They shot kind of Right in here. That was their, theirs, their group. And I shot some 85 green V Maxes out of the CZ. I was aiming at this target here. We've got a few more of them to shoot. I'm going to shoot, shoot them back at that same spot. Be all right, I guess, if just to load them up and keep them just to shoot birds with. And don't mind to shoot a crow now and then, and if we're calling coyotes or something, I'd say they'd be just fine within 100 yards. They're not traveling very fast, about 2200. But uh, it's good enough load to fire for them cases with, and they don't shoot all over the place. Really don't shoot that bad for fire foreman. Well, folks, anyway, I got some new brass made for my Grendel rifles out of 762 by 39 brass. Um, didn't see any issues with them other than they didn't want to cycle out of the AR because it doesn't have as much powder in them. I had a pretty low charge and just trying to blow the shoulders out and straighten the case wall. But got that job done and actually the fire foreman ones I see they don't shoot that bad. Inch and a half or so, maybe two inch groups there at, at 100 yards. Be good enough to shoot coyotes with, you call them up or maybe shoot crows. But uh, Velocity was down, you know, around 2150 to 2200 feet per second on them on a 107 grain bullet. And, and I shot some 85 grain bullets also with that same charge. But uh, they, they worked pretty decent out of the CZ. But it's cold out here, so I'm going to get back to the house and load some ammo. Good luck in all your adventures. Thanks for watching.